What up, I'm Louis Vito. I'm a half pipe snowboarder. When Louis wanted to snowboard, he was about five and a half or so, six, and he was the youngest person on the mountain. It took one chance down that mountain, one try, and Louis was hooked. I loved it. I loved snowboarding every day and wanted to keep doing it, so it kind of just evolved from there. Lou would take him to a lot of different contests. We stopped at every mountain from the west side of Ohio to the east side of New York, and I would enter him in every contest that I can enter him in. And I entered them in a lot of adult contests. For example, he won the Coors Cup, and he won a year's supply of Coors at 10 years old? 10 years yeah. old. I think it was at Nationals or somewhere that one of these coaches at Stratton Mountain School said to Lou, who is his coach? And Lou very proudly said, I am. And he said, well, you know what? If he had a real coach, I could make him a national champion. He said, let him come to Stratton Mountain School. It was kind of pretty cool going to a snowboard boarding school. We were in a, an academy with many, many other good athletes that he was chasing and chasing and chasing. So when you're doing that, it's making you better and better and better along the way. He flourished, he loved it, he won the nationals. First year. And then things kind of started snowballing from there because I started realizing like this could be something I could actually do. Growing up watching the Olympics, you always wanted to be a part of it some way, somehow. It was crazy making the 2010 team. It was like a dream come true and such a surreal feeling. And I ended up fifth. I was kind of one of the favorites to the podium, but it's all good. I was just stoked to land a run. I mean, at the time, I was really angry, but uh, I was just happy looking back that I landed a run when it counted. I grew up outside Columbus, Ohio, in a town called Bull Fountain. It was interesting growing up in Ohio just because it's not known for its powder riding or mountains in general. There's not even a half pipe in the whole state of Ohio. The fact that you can have a person from Ohio that's the half pipe Olympian it's uh, huge. My parents, making sure that I remember where I came from and stay grounded. I'll stand by you, is that okay? I'm proud of the fact that he gives back to the community. The way that they speak about Louis is as if he were their own. Welcome to the court, professional snowboarder and Ohio native, Louis Vito. He's a great ambassador to the sport. He comes out, he signs autographs for hours on end. I mean, it's just like a lot of travel, a lot of time commitment, and it's a lot of dedication that a lot of people don't have. You can't help but love Louis. He has always given back, not just since he's become famous. He is always there to support anybody, and that's why it's so much fun to support him. We're here at the Louis Vito Rail Jam. Today is actually the 10th annual Louis Vito Rail Jam. It's an all charity event. All my sponsors donate prizes. Louis gives away and his sponsors over $30,000, $35,000 in prizes. It's one of the biggest contests, if not the biggest contest in the Midwest. To be in this contest, to be in the drawing, all you need to do is bring one canned good or one paper product. But as years went by, well, we have donors now that are giving five digits. Hey, thank you. Everything's for charity, 100%. It's my way of giving back to the community that helped raise me, helped create me, make me who I am, and show kids that, you know, if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. Thank you for coming out. No problem. I can this whole world. For me, it's just creating a fun atmosphere, something where parents can come watch their kids snowboard, they can come hang out and support a good cause. Daddy, see your shirt? He's really good at snowboarding, and he can do all these flips and stuff. At one point, he was in their shoes, a little kid that looked up to snowboarders, and he wanted to, to be that snowboarder that he could just make a difference in another you know, kid's life, because he was there. You got some nice boards here. He's very approachable. He's somebody that they can talk to. I know they look up to him, but he's not somebody that they just look at him in, from afar. Thank you so much, Louie, and don't you be changing. You're a Trust me, person. I got these people to smack me around if I That's do. That's right. I'd rather miss a couple days of training because I was doing something like this, because this is something that means a lot to me and means a lot to the community. You can't bring a chair when you're on top because you don't have time to sit, and Louie's not sitting. The fact that he's still going strong really shows his dedication to the sport. He's a great snowboarder, you know, that can't be denied. But he's a wonderful person, and that's more important than anything. He's just truly remarkable. Young boy. Young man. Yeah, he's still my boy. <laughs>